His, he putting his no, he took the pin. See, that is insane. The epic JoJo Siwa beef from last month that was you, sir. Gotcha. Welcome to Earth. And if the city asks, I didn't get any help at all whatsoever. Good morning, fellow JoJo Siwa enthusiasts. I have a very exciting video for you today. We have a new egg and we have Poppy and Vinny hanging out over there together. They're communicating. But today we're going to be headed to Waco to finish the foundation work on the house. We should finally be done today. But first I just need to grab that egg, put it in the incubator, grab poggers, and then head over to Waco. Sounds like we got another baby today. Oh! Hello, adorable children. Welcome to Earth. And welcome to the army, sons. Oh, we need to fill this up. Here you go, little gamers. A nice new water just for you. And now we just need to get the- Whoa, is that hit rapper an artist? No. Excuse me, sir, would you happen- would you happen to be the hit rapper to baby from the epic Jojo Siwa drama? The epic Jojo Siwa beef from last month? That was you, sir? Sir, I'm a big fan of your work. Thank you. But okay, I suppose it's time to don the ride shield. Good morning, sir. How are you today? Mwah. Love you. Kushicha. How about you open this door for me, huh? But seems a bit needlessly violent per usual. Hey, okay, thank you for opening the door. Back up and close the gate behind me. This is my new method, guys. Keeps Kevin at bay, keeps me safe. Bam. See, now he's trying to push it closed, even though this gate thing is broken a little bit here. Watch that. Bam. He can't get through now. Gotcha. Let's give him a little pet on the head, a little, a little pat, a little gentle caress, if you will. Oh my gosh. He made it. He's kind of stuck on the gate there for a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that thing before he gets off. Hey, Karen. Good morning. Wow. Beautiful. Big egg. Have fun over there, buddy. <laughs> good morning, Darcidius. Good morning, Poggers. You ready to go to Waco, buddy? Okay, I'll just put on my typical farming equipment. Now, this egg is a bit wet from the morning dew, but that's nothing a little towel can't help with. Hello, Kevin. <laughs> now, this is epic. All right, baby. I'll see you later. We're going to Waco. Bye, Kevin. Oh, he wants to come inside. Okay, baby, but only for a little bit. Come on, Puggers. What do you think, baby? Do you like it? Okay, guys, this is for the thumbnail. Here you go, guys. Here's your thumbnail shot. I steal my children's baby? Kevin tries to bite me, even though he's putting his egg... He's putting his egg... No! He took the baby! He took the spy camera! Oh! I'm gonna feed these little babies and then we're going to Waco. All you gotta do to straighten these boys out is just press the okay and the minus button and then it just kind of levels. Go ahead and move some of these things across so then we can do it. All right, we're all set up there. I'm gonna go ahead and mark him in the little journal. Okay, now I'm just gonna feed the baby. Whoa, is that Kevin? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Gonna feed the babies. Good morning, Karen. All I have to do to feed the babies is just keep Kevin at an arm's distance. Oh, <laughs> almost got me there, sir. See, he doesn't know what to do. See? That's right! I win! Okay, hey, now I'm just gonna go, whoa, is that the baby? I need both hands to do this, so I'm not gonna be able to film. I'm just gonna pick up my son and save him from certain doom. Alright, uh, you're wondering where you can get a little spy camera like this? Oh, sorry. I think they're sold out by now. They're probably sold out. Only one way to check those by going on the website, but uh, they're probably sold out. That's right. I started a toy company. Mom. Okay, all the animals are fed, and we just need to go to Waco. Hoggers, where are you? I'm leaving. Idiot. He always locks himself in here. Such a good and handsome bowl. This is actually how many pigeons we got left, guys. Not much, just this box. All right, everybody, we are headed to Wecho today. Uh, but first, I'm gonna go ahead and drop all these guys off at the post office for you. This is our last load. All right, we are dropping off a second shipment of a spy camera. Right here for these young boys. I'm at the one in Waco, and there's nobody here helping me, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this up. This is my little mail dog. Suppose we're just doing this by ourselves today. All right, that's it. They're all gone. No more 
pigeons. All right, gamers, here's your renovation update. Uh, so here's the thing. Got this jack under here and a 20 ton jack. This is what's keeping the house up. Okay, so we ripped out all the beams along the side here and all that's gonna have to be replaced. Borrowed a couple other 20 ton bottle jacks. Uh, oh, look at that little mushroom. Uh, this whole porch is completely over top of just standing water. Look at that. There's just a pool of water under here. And there's a bunch of broken glass. We're getting the work done. Yeah, that's right. I got a tub. Ever heard of it? I got floor joists. This is all gonna be raised up just by a little bit today. Uh, and then this whole area here is gonna be raised up. We're not gonna try and do this this area it's gonna be expensive it's gonna take too much time this whole thing would need to be replaced and i'm thinking about at the very least just tearing all of the the walls and the plywood that they put up to kind of make this into a room return it to an old porch again realistically though i'm going to scrap all this stuff uh we're gonna use sledgehammers and just tear this whole thing down and then we can move this back a little bit. Otherwise, we would need a jackhammer. Like, there's no way any of this wood can be repaired at all whatsoever. Somebody from the city must have come out and cut this grass because I sure didn't. Uh, we got this greenhouse finally out here and these tubs. What's cool about this stuff, though, is that I can just put this up on the foundation, this little slab. And Poggers is a very happy boy. He loves having all this space to run around. So I already told you guys about this fencing that we got donated to us a while back. Finally ready to set this stuff up. We got these pipes donated, which is wonderful because I can uh, use an auger, dig a hole, just a bit of concrete, and these will be our posts. But the issue that, that we have right now is that I need to get a brush hog or something to cut all this stuff down so we know where to put the uh, the holes for the auger and to set the fencing in. I called some fencing contractors just to kind of get a feel for what it would cost. And some of the prices weren't that bad, especially because we already have all the material. The issue was they all can't come out for another four months. Maybe we'll get like the back area done in four months. Right, this stuff needs to be done now. What I'd like to just do is fortify the fencing that's already here and then just bring out uh, a bunch of goats from our partners. We have a network of about 300 acres of folks that um, all have rescues, ones that I have had and have given to them and ones that they get on their own. And then they're just a part of the Urban Rescue Ranch as well. But what we can do is we can get those goats, have them uh, eat a lot of this grass. I still need to get rid of all of these tires. That's gonna be a whole other issue in of itself. They're also a public health hazard essentially because look at all the water that's in there. Lots of mosquitoes. You know, and there's obviously gonna be mosquitoes in the woods when there's a lot of tall grass and weeds and everything. Right? Little things like this that are filled with water, we need to get this out of here because it's just kind of dangerous. But Uncle Ben's just gonna have to bite the bullet and pay somebody to get rid of these. I looked at all the different craft ideas that you guys emailed me and sent me. I looked at all of them. They're cute, they're great, but they're also not cute at all and they're not great at all. They're really tacky and ugly and I'm sorry. Don't get me wrong, a lot of the stuff we have here is tacky and ugly. I wanna minimize that. Another thing I was thinking about was just kind of like throwing the tires around these poles, just kind of like having stacks of tires like that. I think that would be kind of cool, but at the same time, we'd still have the issue of, okay, now there's a ton of mosquitoes. So my plan for this area here, because this is a this is a little slab foundation, a little concrete slab, I'm gonna go ahead and set up and just use all of that that's extra wood that we have to turn this into its own little shelter. Because this is treated wood, it's still good. It's gonna last for a long time. We also got this ladder donated, which is really nice, because those are worth a bunch. I really don't think it makes a lot of sense to have the animals in here yet. I'll say the one good thing, I picked the driest spot to put all of this stuff in. We got a washing machine donated, and I'm very thankful for that. Looks like the raccoon even pushed, hey Puggers, watch where you step, bro, bro, bro. You don't listen and pushed over all this stuff. Look how happy this man is. So we are gonna have to get another dumpster, sadly. But what's cool is after this next dumpster, we won't ever need to buy a dumpster again, I hope. But talk about safety hazards. I mean, all this stuff needs to go. It looks like I haven't paid the water bill, uh, probably because we haven't been getting any water or sewer. Hey there, little friend. I'm cutting these things off now with this little guy. Look how this tree has just grown over the wire completely. That's insane. That is insane. It is completely in there. That tree just has metal in the middle of it. That is just all water. There it is. We're gonna need to rip out this guy. 
All right, guys, it's the end of the day and I didn't post on Wednesday because of this. I did this all by myself. Uh, there's uh, with no help at all whatsoever from anyone in the world. Never got any help for any of this by myself, you guys. And if the city asks, I didn't get any help at all whatsoever. Yeah, I got long piers now. Ever heard of them? Yeah, I got uh, siding now. Ever heard of it? Yeah, this is all still gonna need to be fixed and there's definitely about a half inch gap right there. Yeah, a lot of work's gonna still need to be done, but at least it's level enough for Poggers to climb under the floor and put himself in danger. Yeah, I got a bed. Ever heard of it? All right, now uh, we've been getting uh, destroyed by raccoons here lately and Poggers is drinking this natural rain water. Isn't that neat? Raccoons came in here, pushed this thing over, pushed this little tank over and made a big safety hazard. So I'm gonna go ahead and set a trap. I can tell that it's raccoon just from the little paw prints everywhere. After I set this trap, I'm gonna leave it here for a week. I come back and the raccoon's still alive. Cool. Okay guys, this is what you call a have a heart trap and this is what you call sardines that have been inside the house for at least probably 12 years. This was in, oh, this was in the walls. This is gonna work tremendously well. Catch a raccoon. You really don't need much. Oh gosh, it got on my hands. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this right in here. But just in case he does get caught and it gets wet, I'm gonna go ahead and set it like this. Raccoons aren't super trap smart. But if he's used to the smell of us and everything else, this is gonna be just fine. All right, goodbye. All right, guys, that's it. I'm gonna have to post this tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and return this beam because they're worth $50. This one, four by six by 16 or 12, I think it's four by six by 12 was $50. And I need one double that size. So I'm gonna return this so I can get it. $70 for gas. Thanks, Obama. Poggers is chasing after this raccoon and he caught him. Go get him, Poggers, go. He's a little coon dog. Scared that raccoon right up into a tree, buddy. Good boy. When I leave the porch light on, there's all kinds of cute little wildlife that accumulates here. We got a little wasp nest. We got a cute little gecko. And we got a bunch of June bugs. And we're back again. Whoa, is that the baby? And Vinny, look, look at little Vinny under there. All right, guys, that's about it. Oh, I almost forgot to touch. Ah!